and uh, she was doing badly financially. Her situation was dire and she was in need of a breakthrough. She engaged the faith gear, prayed, and God led her to the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority where she received a 42 million shilling tender to supply private protective equipment. This is a testimony as shared by Eunice Chirono, the director of an interior decor company which has never supplied medical equipment. Zainab Ismail with the latest episode of Heist and Seek in the series that is COVID-19 Millionaires as screened before the National Assembly's Public Investment Committee. The title that each one of you hold. Many are the times you hear of a miracle and the testimonies are ordinarily at pulpits and stages. But for Eunice Cherono, who runs Lyon's interior decor and design, her alleged testimony was shared before the Public Investments Committee. Yes, you've told us here that you walked into KEMSA offices. How did you know that KEMSA needed these items? I didn't know anyone. I just went there. Okay. Cool. And before this, uh, the situation I was was so bad that I really relied on prayer. I prayed about it that actually it is God who directed me there. And I can tell you my prayers were answered. This, these are your own words? Yes. You're saying you prayed and God delivered you to Kemsa? Yes. To, make, to, to be able to make money? Yes. Huh? And yes, it was a 42 million shilling tender. Cherono admitted that her company had never dealt with medical supplies before she landed the Kemsa tender. More to that, the documents indicate that the tender commitment letter was secured before she wrote an intent letter. We have your written intent that you want to supply, uh, you know, three-ply surgical mask. Mm -hmm. You wrote on 6th of May. But you already had the commitment letter from Kemsa at that, at that time, looking at this document. Mm. You already had the commitment, you already given the business. Where by the time you are writing this document, the, the intent. There must be a change of uh, a wrong date, dating. Hold on. Wrong. Hold on. Let me check. Let me see that letter, please. I'll it's in front of you. The PIC was set for more unsettling revelations. Madam, are we together? I have it. The Duke Agencies Limited one, yes. received a 180 million shilling tender to supply the medical supplies. Yet the director, Elizabeth Seret's answers had many inconsistencies, which at many points caused uproar among the committee members. I think you should also be protecting us from some of the very vague, I fake agree with you. irritating reasons. I agree with you. She's not supposed to be taking uh, us for no, it, uh, telling uh, us chairman during that time that there were no people in town. Uh, no, then how was she transacting uh, this? Uh, no, no, it, no it, it is town? not even an issue of that. Uh, you uh, also protect us. Yes, I agree with you. Um, she should uh, take us for elite. Seret got paid within two weeks of supplying the private protective equipment. However, she struggled to identify the individuals, allegedly Chinese nationals, who approached her and sold the medical supplies to her. Immediately, she received the tender. Elizabeth, who is, what is the name of this Chinese? Oh, that's it. Uh, Just I, tell us, who is I, this Chinese? I don't know him, but I know the brokers who brought them. There's someone who was getting information from Kemsa that there's a commitment letter that's been given to a certain company. Just, just a minute, honorable members. Is, is that the case, Elizabeth? I don't know, but they came to my office. So they knew you had a commitment letter. Yes. And they started chasing you and telling you that we have these items. And they bring the samples. So that, so that means there's someone who at, at, uh, at uh, Kemsa leaked this information to this Chinese. Maybe. Zenebi Smile and TV.